everyone, this is Brett McKay with theartofmanliness.com. Now, about a year ago, we wrote an article called Why Every Man Should Carry a Pocket Knife. And the response we got from that article was phenomenal. A lot of you out there agree that the pocket knife needs to come back and be in the pocket of every man out there. Um, but after we wrote the article, we got a lot of emails from people saying, Brett, I got my pocket knife. How do I sharpen the thing? Well, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to show you how to sharpen that pocket knife of yours and uh, take good care of it. Now, before I begin, i got to make one caveat. There are dozens of ways to sharpen a pocket knife. Everyone's got their technique. Everyone's got their tips they learned in the Navy, their tricks they learned from their grandpa. I'm going to show you the way that I learned how to do it. It's very basic, very simple. But if you have, enough, if you have a way that works for you, great. Do that. In fact, get online, get on the blog, and share that with us. I'd love to hear your uh, tips on sharpening pocket knives. So with that said, we're going to get started here. Before you start, you're going to need some tools. And the most important tool you're going to need is some sort of sharpening stone. Now, just as there's dozens of ways to sharpen a pocket knife, there are dozens of different kinds of sharpening stones. You have Japanese whetstones, you have oil stones, you have stones with diamonds encrusted on the surface. It all comes, all, each one has their pros and cons, they, um, but I think it all comes down to its preference. But if all you're doing is sharpening a pocket knife, you don't need too much. Um, just go to the hardware store, you can pick one up for about $10. That's, where, that's how much this one cost me. And another thing you're also gonna need is some type of lubricant. And most lubricants for sharpening stones, what most people recommend is some type of mineral oil. Now, the reason why you need a lubricant is whenever you're sharpening a knife and you're dragging the, the knife blade across the stone, you're actually creating some type of debris on the stone. You're taking little bits of the stone off with each stroke you do, and that starts building up on the surface, and that can get in the way of you know, having a good, clean surface sharpen your knife on. Also, it uh, reduces the heat from the friction um, of sharpening your knife, and if you have too much heat on your knife blade, uh, that can cause some warping to the metal, and that's not good. So we're gonna get started. We got my knife here we're gonna sharpen. This is a, a knife my dad gave me. It's pretty old, it's about 20 years old, and he gave me a while back ago, and it needs some sharpening. It's kinda dull. If you have a dull knife, you're gonna wanna start off with the coarser side of your sharpening stone. And this is the side we're gonna start off with. And you wanna prep your stone, Get some lubricant on there, and we'll just pour some on there, nice. Get it all over there. And sometimes the stone soaks up the, the lubricant if you haven't used it in a while. And what you're going to do, if it's your first time ever sharpening a knife, you want, the key to sharpening a knife is getting the angle down pat. Um, you got to keep a consistent angle all the time. And for pocket knives, they recommend having an angle about 10 to 15 degrees. So what I would do is lay your knife blade flat on the, on the stone like that, and then lift it up till you get about 10 to 15 degrees. And what you're going to do is you're just going to take a nice even stroke across the surface of the stone. And as you get near the edge, you're going to kind of twist the knife out so you get the edge near the point. And you're going to repeat that. And you know you're doing it right because it sounds nice and clean when you're sharpening. Now if it sounds like that, you know you're not doing it right. So do this about six times. Well, after you've done the sixth time, you're going to flip it around and do it the other way. Sharpen the other side of the blade. So again, lay it flat. Raise it up about 10, 15 degrees. And bring it around the other way. Again, twist the knife a little bit at the end so you get the, the edge. Um, sharpen the, near the point. Okay, what I like to do after I've done that is I like to go back again and just take alternating strokes. Make sure you get that bevel on your blade nice and even. Now there's a lot of debate amongst knife sharpeners whether you should push into the, the, into the stone or you should go away. Um, I, honestly, I think it's a personal, it's a choice of preference. I prefer to do it this way, they both work. So after you've done that, you're going to want to flip the stone over to the finer um, grit stone so you can really fine tune to get that nice sharp edge on your blade. Um, so again, you want to prep it with the oil. And you're just going to do the same thing over again. About six strokes. And depending on how you know, dull your blade is, you probably have to do this several times put some elbow grease into it to really get a nice sharp blade. And again, 
I like to finish off by doing the alternating strokes. Make sure you get that nice even bevel. Alright, so we'll clean that blade off. And that's pretty that's all there is to it. It's not much. Again, there's different people who got different ways to uh, sharpen a knife, but I think this will work.